Hey guys, so recently I've been pondering what to do a video on, thinking between Minecraft, Men in Black, and even Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And while doing research on those topics, I somehow stumbled upon a Mario gameplay. They were fighting Bowser. Watching this massive creature jump around and crush things made me very curious. I went online to find out just how much he weighed, but sadly, found virtually zero results. Knowing I had a thirst for mathematics and a theory channel with a portion of fans being math people, I thought, hey, why not answer a question people didn't know they wanted answered? Even though I have so many videos on Mario, I still went all out on a major scientific analysis of this turtle creature. Don't deny your curiosity. Now that you've begun, you can't handle it. You must know his weight. So just how are we going to go about this? Well, we could look at it in many, many ways, but my favorite way is to use a method that involves his volume and his density. You see, if you know how much space an object takes up, and how tightly packed that object is, you can find out how much matter is packed into it. It's mass. And for a basic video like this, I guess we could just say his weight, but technically they aren't the same. Anyways, volume times density equals mass, so we only need to know how much space Bowser takes up and how tightly packed turtles are to find out how heavy he is. So let's begin with density, how tightly packed an object is. A marshmallow, for example, is light and fluffy and thus has a very low density. Something like gold is really hard and heavy and thus has an extremely high density. So just how do we go about finding the density of a turtle? The obvious answer, of course, would be try to look it up, but really, looking up turtle density isn't exactly something people calculate, let alone write articles on. So we need to conduct a little experiment on another turtle, a much smaller one. Let's go with this little guy, the Hemopus Signatus. The internet says this tiny turtle weighs 127.5 grams and is only 7 centimeters long. That is tiny. That is the Earth's smallest turtle after all. Rearranging our little formula for mass, we find that density is mass over volume. We clearly know the mass of this little guy, so really all we need now to find the density of a turtle is his volume. Luckily, we know his measurements, but that doesn't help us a whole lot. We need to know just how much space he takes up. His volume can indeed be calculated with the measurements given, but it is a royal pain in the bare buttocks to do so. If we imagine this little turtle being compacted into a shape like this, it makes it way easier for us. This shape is called an ellipsoid, a three-dimensional oval. Here's a list of all the videos I've used this shape in. I love it because it's a simple alternative to the basics of calculus, something that I'm steering clear away from in these videos for right now. But you've likely seen me deal with the formula before, so here it is again. This turtle is actually half of a spherical oval, called a hemellipsoid. If we know his measurements, we just multiply pi by 2, and then multiply all the lengths of his radii together, and divide by 3. If we imagine him as a full oval sphere, then he'd look a little like this. His radius is half the length across on each side. So that means that we need those measurements based on what we're given. What happened next was beyond tedious for me. I grabbed a large ruler and started measuring the screen of my computer to find out how many inches on the ruler equaled his real life 7 centimeter length. I also then measured how tall the turtle was and how wide, and used length comparison to deduce an answer to the other two. And once I had my numbers for his height, half his length, and half his width, I was ready to pop it into my Texas Instruments TI-30X-2S new and blue solar-powered calculating machine fit for the gods. Okay, not really. No theory is sponsored, but if it were, I'd probably act like that. But I did pop it into my calculator and received a very, and I mean very, small volume. Like, there was five zeros before the actual number. Jeez, turtles, why are you so tiny? But if we apply this new volume to that formula for density and send it through my TI-30X, we discover that the density of all turtles is exactly 1800 kilograms per cubic meter, a number very close to what I was hoping for, as it appears to factor in the water of a body, the shell, and the scaly bottom. So now that we've received our turtle density, we must throw it into Bowser's equation. And as our final step to finding his mass, we must calculate his volume in nearly the exact same way we did to the other turtle, except Bowser clearly takes up a lot more space. Well, let's see. Nintendo released an official Mario statue that they claimed was Mario's height in real life. Its height? 5 feet. Thank you, Nintendo. Mario is 5 feet. 
So using this chart, in-game comparisons, and pixel length analyzing with that ruler on screen method I love using, the newer versions of Bowser stand at 8 foot 4. For ease, I yet again found an image of him in his shell, and applied the hemellipsoid formula to my measurements. And I concluded that Bowser holds a volume of 5.34 cubic meters. Judging from the size of one cubic meter, this guy is downright huge, like absolutely massive. But to finalize, volume times density equals mass, and with the click of an equals button, we can deduce how heavy the most iconic villain in gaming is. Bowser, 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 lay off the Twinkies. 21,145 pounds. Yeesh. And remember, this calculation was of optimum accuracy, so holy crap, that's like over ten and a half tons. One fall from over 50 feet, and he'd register a 1 on the Richter scale. Okay, sure, that's not much, but it's still nuts for someone like him to actually achieve that. And we see that he jumps and falls from heights constantly, so, so many mini quakes. But that's all nice and good, but as you know, I need huge numbers. Let's enter Huge Bowser from the new Super Mario games. Instead of recalculating this Mega Bowser's volume, I've decided to use a much, much easier method. First, I did a screen measurement by comparing Mario to this new Bowser, receiving his height 32 feet and 2 inches. Dang, that is terrifyingly tall. But then we swap units for metric and throw it into the square cube law formula, a formula that can tell us how something's weight will change based on its height. And you will not believe how heavy this massive version of Bowser is. This guy is 1,220,907 pounds. Let's see what this guy measures on the Richter scale when jumping from 100 feet. He measures a 2.3, larger than old Bowser, but still pathetic on the scale. But now Bowser is at the point where his bones may even snap beneath the pressure delivered by his ungodly mass. So I did the calculation. If you'd like information on the calculation I'm talking about, check out my Monsters vs. Aliens theory on Ginormica. Basically, if Mega Bowser weighed double, he'd snap under his own weight. But for now, he's okay. So in conclusion to this rather interesting experiment, Bowser needs to lay off the Twinkies. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so now is the time where you click in the top right corner of the screen to vote for a theory. Also, check out my Twitter and Facebook for updates. I'm thinking of establishing an upload schedule and also changing my intro, so I'll keep you posted. But that's all for now, so see you later.